हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द मैथमेटिक्स क्लास आई एम योर मैथमेटिक्स लेक्चरर शिवराज के दरू डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स सी एल ई डिग्री कॉलेज चिकोड़ी फॉर बी एस सी फिफ्थ सेम यू आर हैविंग मैथमेटिक्स थ्री पेपर्स दैट इज एम वन एम टू एंड एम थ्री इन दैट आई एम गोइंग टू हैंडल पेपर थ्री दैट इज डायनामिक्स एंड कैलकुलस ऑफ वेरिएशन लेट एस सी वॉट यू मीन बाय डायनामिक्स एंड कैलकुलस ऑफ वेरिएशन हियर डायनामिक्स मीन्स इट डील्स विद द स्टडी ऑफ एक्शन ऑफ फोर्सेस ऑन ए बॉडी इन मोशन एंड नेक्स्ट वॉट यू मीन बाय कैलकुलस ऑफ वेरिएशन हियर कैलकुलस ऑफ वेरिएशन डील्स विथ फाइंडिंग मैक्सिम एंड मिनिमा ऑफ फंक्शनल्स हियर फंक्शनल्स मीन्स फंक्शंस ऑफ फंक्शंस नेक्स्ट वी विल सी द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द यूनिट फर्स्ट दैट इज कैनामेटिक्स वॉट यू मीन बाय कैनामेटिक्स हियर कैनामेटिक्स इज द Science of describing the motion of a objects using words, diagrams, numbers, graphs, and equations. Here, by using words, diagrams, numbers, graphs, and equations, you can describe the motion of a object or a particle. Next, in the unit first, we will be having some introduction to the kinematics, some basic definitions related to the displacement, velocity, and acceleration, as you are already studied in the lower classes. Next, you will be studying about velocity and acceleration of a particle along a plane curve. Here, you will be deriving the expressions for velocity and acceleration of a particle along a plane curve. Next, radial and transverse velocities and radial and transverse acceleration. Here, you will be deriving the expressions for radial and transverse velocities as well as acceleration. Here, next, you will be having tangential and normal velocities. tangential and normal acceleration here you will be deriving expressions for tangential and normal velocities as well as acceleration and some important problems related to radial and transverse velocities and acceleration tangential and normal velocities as well as acceleration and next unit 2 is about central orbit here what do you mean by central orbit central orbit is the path described by a particle moving under the action of a central force is defined as a central orbit and it is a plane curve in central orbit you will see the introduction to the central orbit next you will you will be studying the definition for central law or a law of a force here you will be having some important problems related to the central force or a law of a force next you will derive the equation of the path in polar coordinates next you will be having you will derive the equation for differential equation of the central orbit in polar form differential equation of the central orbit in pedal form these are the two forms next you will be studying the definition of abs abscissal distance and abscissal angle and some important problems related to central orbit and these abs abscissal distance and abscissal angle next unit 3 is about motion of a projectile and elastic impact first we will see what do you mean by motion of a projectile when a particle is thrown or projected in air it moves along a curved path under constant acceleration and reaches ground after some time here the particle projected is called projectile and its motion is called motion of a projectile here when a particle is thrown or projected it moves along a curved path and under constant acceleration and reaches ground after some time here the particle projected is called projectile and its motion is called motion of a projectile next introduction to the motion of a projectile next you will study about newton's second law of motion that is force equal to mass into acceleration next you will derive the equation of a path of a projectile here you will derive the equation for the path of a projectile and you will be having some important problems related to the path of the projectile next you will study about elastic impact what do you mean by elastic impact when there is a elastic collision between two bodies the total kinetic energy of the before the, the total kinetic energy before impact will be equal to the total kinetic energy after impact this is the elastic impact in elastic impact you will be having direct impact as well as oblique impact next you will study the definition of coefficient of restitution 
in a direct impact you will be studying the equations for motion perpendicular to the line of impact principle of conservation of linear momentum of direct impact newton's experimental law in case of a direct impact this is all about the direct impact next in oblique impact you will be studying principle of conservation of linear momentum of oblique impact newton's experimental law in case of a oblique impact loss of kinetic energy due to oblique impact here you will be having some important problems related to direct impact as well as oblique impact next unit 4 is about calculus of variation here what do you mean by calculus of variation that is to finding the maxima and minima of the functionals here functionals means functions of functions here the unit 4 starts with the variation of a function that is f equal to f of x comma y comma y dash and functional next variation problems related to the calculus of variation these are the important next fundamental theorem of a calculus of variation fundamental theorem of calculus of variation this is important for your examination and next is euler's equation euler's equation and forms of euler's equation next you will be having some important problems related to the euler's equation and fundamental theorem of calculus of variation next the continued part of this is unit 4 is unit 5 that is calculus of variation second here you will be studying about geodesic geodesic on a plane and geodesic on a sphere next brachistochrome problem and minimum surface of revolution here you will be deriving equation for minimum surface of revolution next will be isoperimetric problems you will be having some important problems related to the isoperimetric isoperimetric problem and brachistochrome problem this is all about the it is five units so hope you have understood the syllabus of this all five units so thank you